just cut these two parts back to back. First one we use the down cut. That usually helps with hold down. But with these great clamps, we weren't having any hold down issues. So we just swapped the tool out for an identical tool except for an up cut. And the difference is, you can see here, is those chips were left behind, which we can easily clean out. But with the up cut tool, almost no chips left behind. And so we're gonna inspect these a little closer and see if the finish quality is any different from one to the other. Notice on the up cut, we did lose that center piece, which we cut through depth. And on the outside, we left the skin on both. After further inspection, we did notice a slightly better finish quality on the upcut. So we're going to go ahead and use that one moving forward since we don't have any problems with pull down on this setup. Now we're going to do a quick tool change, put in the new tool, and simply hit our auto touch off. And it's done. We're ready to go. Okay, and here we have the finished product. This is the last one I did. Just came off the CNC. And on this last one, I decreased the thickness of the skin. So if we set this over here for a minute, and we look, that's just barely a little bit of skin on there that just flakes off. And so just enough to hold the part was the goal, and we accomplished that. So we haven't taken this to any other um, secondary operation, we haven't sanded it, we haven't polished it. This is just straight off the machine. And I'll move around a little bit and you can see really nice finish inside and out. Let me lift this up a little bit, see if we can get the best angle on that. There we go. And the accuracy is very impressive. This wall where we've got this little trough machined in the wall itself is only 20 thousandths thick. Now we're just helping a customer develop a prototype and I think they're gonna thicken that up. But uh, just amazing how that turned out and how smooth and accurate this machine cuts. And um, now for the final test. This is a type of gasket for something. So we actually machined that in just for this gasket. We press that in there and that's a perfect fit. And now we can kind of see how that looks. That's really nice. And all that was done on the HD2 tabletop Techno CNC router using our Enroute software.